Congo, ti Congo, si e nyani zo. That's a little bit of Zahara. And earlier this year, she performed multiple shows here in Metro Vancouver. So for more on Zahara and her legacy, here with us in studio, we have Maju Maju. She's a singer. Uh, she's a founding member of the Soweto Gospel Choir and was a close friend of Zahara. Maju Maju, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. That was kind of, it, it hit you. It hit you in a sentimental way when you heard her voice, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah, she was a she was a good friend. She was like um, a sister also. Um, I work with Zahara. I remember when she released her first album, Lollywood. Mm -hmm. I was still with the choir during that time, and we had a, an opportunity to record a, a, a DVD with her. That was the first time of getting close to her. And then when I moved to Canada, and then 2019. She came to perform in one of the festivals, and um, I was lucky to be able to host her in, in my house, and she stayed with me for three, three weeks. And then that's when I get to know her and to understand where she's coming from and everything about her. Oh, my. We're, we're very sorry for yeah. the loss of your friend because this, this goes beyond just a performer-to-performer to relationship or admiration or that type of thing. Who was Z Zahara as a person? And it, it's wonderful to hear that you had weeks to, to get to know her on a more personal level. Zahara was a very uh, strong person. She's been through a lot, but she carried herself. She made people laugh, you know, regardless of what she was going through. She was a very strong, she had a very strong character. And I remember when I lost my sister in 2022, she called me and she gave me words of encouragement, but at the same time, she lost her sister too. So for her to be able to do that for me, it was amazing, you know? So she was very strong and she had an amazing voice and she has done a really great job with her music. And she was a great inspiration for most South African, actually for most Africans all over the world, actually. She was really popular. Her music touched our souls. Um, if you talk, if you speak about Zahara, everybody knows her. And again, just on a personal level, and 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 the time she spent here in Metro Vancouver and touched so many across across this region as well. You got to spend some time with her. So, what what stands out to you from from that time? Just you know, connection with with Vancouver and in British Columbia. You know, her music mostly, most of the songs, some of the songs are in her native language. But people in Vancouver, they get connected to that music because of the rhythm, because of the soul of her voice. So everybody fell in love with her. It does. It didn't matter whether they understand the language or not. The voice, her, 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 the way she presented herself, she just connected with people. I remember when she was performing in Surrey, nobody know, knew about her. Some of people didn't know about her, but they were they just got connected and everybody was so into her and when she starts singing you get good goosebumps <laughs> 